In this video, I demonstrate how to graph a histogram. In Stata, the histogram function is useful for viewing data from an interval measure. Specifically, histograms allow us to view the shape of the distribution and assess whether it departs from a normal distribution. In this regard, the histogram has a lot in common with the box plot. But it's also important to note that the histogram function in Stata is also a good option for creating bar graphs for categorical variables, working better in many cases than the bar graph function. I'll illustrate the histogram using both an interval variable, a measure of social trust, and a categorical variable, a measure of race and ethnicity. I've codebooked both here. The command to run a basic histogram is quite simple, as you can see here, but I still prefer to go through the menu system when graphing, as there are a number of options that are hard to memorize. So to create a histogram, you'd simply go to Graphics and Histogram. In the dialog box under Variable, input your variable. In this case, I'll start with my interval measure called social trust. And then because it's an interval variable, I'll keep data are continuous checked. I usually leave the bin section alone to start at least. And on the right, we have a number of options for the y-axis. All of these options actually return similar looking graphs, but I'll explain each of them briefly. Density scales the height of the bar so that the sum of their areas equals one. This is actually hard to visualize on a continuous variable with many thin bars. My advice, don't worry about getting into this too much. Just appreciate the shape. Fraction scales the height of the bar so that the sum of their heights equals 1. Frequency scales the height of the bar so that each bar's height is equal to the number of observations in that category. Thus, the sum of the heights is equal to the total number of observations. And percent scales the height of the bar so that the sum of their heights equals 100. Like I said, you'll find that no matter what option you choose here, you'll get similar shaped graphs. Some are simply more intuitive and or more appropriate, depending on your data and what you prefer your y-axis scale to be. More often than not, though, you're simply aiming for an idea of the shape of the distribution of your data, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. Notice that you have tabs that may be of use. The If In tab allows you to restrict your histogram based on certain conditions that you impose. The Y axis and X axis tabs are particularly useful if you want to add reference lines, such as a mean or a median. And the By tab, located here, allows us to draw subgraphs for unique values of categorical variables. I'll show you that in a minute. Finally, let me show you the density plots. We have two options here, the add normal density plot and the add kernel density plot. The normal density plot specifies that a histogram be overlaid with an appropriate scaled normal density curve. The normal curve will have the same mean and standard deviation as the data, allowing you to more easily compare the observed distribution to a hypothetical normal distribution. The kernel density plot provides an estimate of the most likely population distribution for a continuous variable that would account for this sample distribution. It smooths out some of the bars that are extremely high or low because of variation from one sample to the next. I personally find that the normal density plot to be the most useful, so I'll check that in this case. Okay, let's hit submit. Here we see the histogram with the normal curve overlaying it. Again, the distribution and the normal curve are going to share a mean and a standard deviation. Now let me go back to the by tab and draw subgraphs for each of my race ethnic categories. So I simply input my categorical variable after checking the draw subgraphs. The other thing you might want to do is check on subgraph organization. The default is for this to do a row or a quadrant of graphs, but I particularly find when working with histograms that it's nice to compare them, stacking them on top of one another. So I set this to columns, one column. Go ahead and hit accept and submit. So here you can see that it divided our data into the four categories, white, Asian, black, and Hispanic respondents, and then demonstrates their distribution relative to one another. Now, what if you have a categorical variable? Let me reset these. Like I said earlier, the histogram dialog box can be easier to work with than the bar graph dialog box to create a bar graph. So working in the histogram dialog box, simply insert your categorical variable, F race in this case. The data are discrete, meaning that they take on fixed values. Then again, you have your options of density, fraction, frequency, and percent. I'll just go ahead and click on percent. And let's go ahead and hit submit. So here's your bar graph. And notice that it's got one particularly annoying feature. We have four categories, but the x-axis includes a scale from 0 to 4. And so we have this gap on the left. How do we get rid of that? Let's go ahead and expand this and go to Graph Editor. Just go ahead and click on that x-axis somewhere and then click on More. And we'll need to do a couple of things. 
First of all, let's get rid of the zero. I like to go to edit or add individual ticks and labels. And let's just go ahead and double click on this zero one. Instead of just simply erasing it, click on custom style, show label, and show tick. Uncheck those two categories and go ahead and hit apply. You'll see that the zero and the tick are removed. That helps take care of part of the problem. Go ahead and hit OK and close that. Let's go ahead and click on scale now and extend range of axis scale. Notice that it goes to 4.5 leaving a little bit of edge on the right side but it starts at zero and you'll notice that the lower limit can be anything less than or equal to 0.5 so let's go ahead and put 0.5 and hit apply. And that redistributes things a little bit better. Go ahead and hit OK and hit OK. The other thing you can do is if you just want to click on the bar, right click and go to bar properties, we could change the bar width. Let's change it to 0.75, apply, hit OK. Let's go back to our x-axis and instead of numbers, let's go ahead and click on label properties. We want to show the labels, but let's use the value labels, the actual names of the race ethnic groups, and go ahead and hit OK. Finally, tick properties. We don't actually need the ticks under the bars, so let's simply uncheck Show Ticks and hit OK. One final thing, you'll notice on the y-axis, the default is for the values to be listed vertically. Go ahead and click on those, and then instead of vertical, do the drop-down and select horizontal. So those are just some of the useful edits one can make in the histogram graph editor. Hope you found this useful.